Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to cover the basic menu in the STC 1000 Plus. I'm not going to cover uh, temperature profile programming, I'll cover that separately, but should be able to get everything else in, into this short video. Uh, so to access the menu in the STC 1000 Plus you want to click uh, the S button and once you're into the menu area uh, you'll see the set menu which is the main menu and then a bunch of temperature profiles. Uh, so for this video we're going to look into the main menu, the set menu, so hit S again. And once you're in the menu area of the STC, you want to think of the S button as the select button and or the enter, and the power button as the back button. So that's going to get you back out of whatever it is that you're looking at. So within the set menu, the first option you see is hysteresis. And now you can see that's set at one degree right now. Uh, what this is is uh, the amount by which the temperature needs to vary from the set point before the controller will do anything, kick the heat on, kick the uh, cooler on, etc. So if it varies by more than a degree, then we're going to turn the fridge on, turn the heater on. Uh, the next option is the run menu. So uh, this tells you the, the controller what you want to do. Uh, the default is just basic thermostat mode, but from here you can also uh, tell it you want to run one of the profiles that uh, you can program into uh, the controller. In thermostat mode, it just sticks to a set point, like a basic uh, temp controller. Uh, the next option is ramping mode, and, and so this ramps between set points when it's enabled. Uh, zero is off, one is on. Um, so that That'll come into play with uh, temperature profiles, but when you have one set point moving to another, uh, with ramping enabled, it will um, interpolate linearly between the two and uh, ramp from one to the other. Uh, so the next is heating delay. So this is the delay uh, between heating cycles. So it's going to take two minutes between uh, turning the heater off and turning it on again. Similarly, cooling delay, so this will protect the uh, refrigeration system in a fridge or freezer. So it's going to wait five minutes before it'll cycle that cooling system. And then set point, self-explanatory, uh, that's the temperature you want it to, to stick to when you're not using a profile. And then uh, temperature uh, correction, so this is if you have a problem with the, with the reading. If it's off a little bit, you can change it here. I haven't ever had to use that, but uh, it's a nice option if if you run into a problem. So I think that's it. Uh, just remember that S is select, power is, is back. That's how you get back on out of there. So when you're in these settings and you change something, if you want it to stick, hit S. If you don't, hit back. And uh, that's it. Thanks.